So for the actual implementation of our units, we have about six goals, maybe more. These are just all I can think of off the top of my head. Don't do that. Thank you. So the first goal, no more rounding, um, because that's all in a conversion. And so we're going to use one of our conversion functions that we defined in units.h, probably game to pixel, or we'll use game to tile, <clears throat> but no more rounding. No more game k tile size, because that is also something we're using to convert our tile sizes, which is bad. Well, it's not that bad, but we don't need it anymore. And it'll be a good sign that we finished our refactoring when those are gone. <clears throat> um, we want to assign primitives to units as early as possible. Uh, yeah, basically, anytime I see an int or a float, I'm going to convert it to a unit. Um, and then the last, I'm going to wait until the last moment to use one of our conversion functions. And so that's so that's so that we can keep our precision as long as possible and yeah again with the assigned primitives to units as early as possible that means no more ints and no more floats we're going to go crazy so i, I feel like the easiest ones to start with are uh, our units, milliseconds, FPS, velocity, acceleration, they're all e easy because we don't, um, we don't ever convert between those. So that's going to be the simplest, straightforward part. So let's just start with that. Yeah. Um, and the only place we're using velocity and acceleration are in the player class. So that's the easiest place to start. So let's open player.h and player.cc. If my computer will respond soon, player.h. Yeah, there we go, player.cc. Uh, 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 uh. So our float, uh, our velocities are going to be um, these unit velocities. That's the type of those, which means we need to include units. Okay, um, this acceleration is a little bit different. This should really be an enum, but I'll leave this for now and break one of my rules. Okay, so here we have an acceleration. We can call this a unit acceleration. So. This will be units, acceleration. We'll copy and paste this to make this go faster. So friction is an acceleration. Um, and then we can get rid of these comments at the end too, because now they don't really help us. They don't add any new information. So these pixels per millisecond per millisecond, now we have that information in the type itself. Well, the type alias. I'll talk less. Okay, now velocities. All these jump speed and uh, what did I just do that for? Oh, uh, yeah. So jump gravity should also be an acceleration. I just didn't label it. Okay. Um, so get rid of these useless comments now. Okay, so we took care of acceleration and velocity for most places. Let's see if I... I think I probably hold on to an acceleration here. Yep, so we'll change this to units. Type acceleration. Ugh, I'll deal with that mess later. Mm, and then this gravity will be acceleration too. I don't think there's anything more. Yeah, so that's it for those two. So let's kind of 
just yeah look at what else we have to do so milliseconds and fps okay so milliseconds are used in a lot of places um <clears throat> I might just go ahead and open everything. In this way, we can just go through and check off every single file at once. So, and we'll just close it when we're done with it. And we're just going to do milliseconds in FPS for now. So we'll start in sprite.h. Uh, this <clears throat> is going to take in a units milliseconds. So we need to include units. So this is sprite.h, so that's it for that. Again, these are gonna be taken care of later. Um, so just milliseconds and frames per second, so that's what I'm looking at. Um, so in sprite.cc, we're gonna need to change the same. Oh no, that was a virtual method, we don't change anything. So rectangle.h, nothing gets updated, so no time map.h uh, update gets a units milliseconds. Um, which means we need to include units. I could even change the name of these, but that's more work than it's worth right now. I'll change them maybe as I go later on, but for now, like because it doesn't really need to say, what does it say? Oh. Oh, yeah, so it doesn't really need to say milliseconds at the end of it, but since it's not hurting anyone and it's not a lack of information, it's just the same information repeated. I'm not going to worry about it. Next, main.cc, obviously nothing. Input, nothing. Input cc, nothing, because we don't get updated. Graphics. Um, this doesn't have anything either, I don't think. Let me see. Nope. OK, game.h probably has something. Oh, we're going to get rid of this. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Mm, I'll do that when we switch later. So, update units, milliseconds. Game.cc, our update needs to take milliseconds. And game.h needs to know about milliseconds. So, let's kind of include units. .h. Uh, any other primitives? No. Okay, we can get rid of that. Now here we can use FPS. So units FPS. Um, we have milliseconds per frame. So we have lots of times in here in our game CC class. So last update time is going to be in milliseconds. Um, start time is going to be in milliseconds. So copy and paste. Um, current time, milliseconds per frame, and elapsed time, all milliseconds. Sweet. Backdrop.h doesn't have an update, so it's saying for backdrop.cc. Animated sprite, this has an update, so we change our update. This is really important to make sure we do that because otherwise it won't override correctly. <clears throat> and that gets units.h from sprite.h, so we don't need to add that there. Um, frame time is going to be in milliseconds. What did you just do that for? Yeah, frame time is going to be in milliseconds. Elapsed time is also going to be in milliseconds. So, are we keeping track of those at all here? 
Um, so frame FPS. Oh, it takes in an FPS. So units FPS and units FPS. And I think that's it um, for those two. Let's make sure I did, didn't, no, I haven't changed the, these in player.h to units, milliseconds. Um, so those are the two, update x and update y, but we also need to hit update. And then in player.cc, update x. And it'll give us red markers, so that's cool. Update Y and update. So I think when we make an animated sprite, we might need to K walk FPS and K num walk frames. So K walk FPS needs to be an FPS. So we can change this to units FPS. Anything else up here? No. Again, this this takes time, but I really think this is worth it. You have to think about it ahead of time whether or not a refactor is going to be worth it, because it's not always worth it to change your code. Because sometimes it, I mean, worst case scenario is it ends up worse, harder to use. So, I mean. I, ch I chose a lightweight approach with using the type defs so that I could um, so it wouldn't be too breaking and it, it would be more malleable. I could use it with float types and integer types interchangeably, which is nice, but also it doesn't enforce it. So you have to look for it yourself. And I look for where it needs to be changed yourself. So I'm going to call this done. Um, and I'm going to compile and test. So let's hit F7 to compile. At least that's what it is for me. OK. Finish compiling. So let's run and make sure everything still looks OK. It should be fine because these are all really uh, minimal changes. Yeah, so we're still getting that lack of precision error, which is what we're about to fix next. So let's go back to our notes. <laughs>